Hello and welcome to the Overly Animated Podcast, where we take animation seriously. We provide fan-oriented and analytic discussions on a variety of animated shows, movies, and anime, currently featuring Steven Universe, Miraculous Ladybug, and the new Powerpuff Girls, and Archer. I'm Dylan Heisen, and today I'm joined by Delaney Stovall. Hello. Today, Delaney and I will be discussing uh, episode 21 of Miraculous Ladybug Pixelator slash digital slash, I don't remember, there's a few t- potential English titles for this episode. Um, we are going out of order by one. So no, you didn't miss our discussion on Guitar Villain. We're doing that next week. <laughs> uh, several people in the comments um, suggested that we do this episode first because it might make more sense. I don't know why, because the thing that would <laughs> make more sense would be in the next episode. So we'll see you next week. Uh, but I can definitely see how that would be the case because this seems like one of the first episodes of the show yeah. or something, right? So it's like we've already seen we've um, seen Jagged Stone like Jagged twice, Stone. and this is his intro episode. So I don't know why yeah. this is airing so late, but anyway, we're talking about Pixelator episode twenty one today. We talk about Miraculous Ladybug every week on the Overly Animated Podcast. We're catching up on the show. Originally discussed the English dub. But we're still talking the French sub right now. Um, as I said last week, that I wanted you guys feedback on whether you wanted to hear. The discussion on the French or English version, people didn't seem to care that much. One person was very vehement that we not watch this episode in English. I think it was just specific to this one, though. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you'd like to see in the future um, as we're almost almost caught up. I mean, a month and a half more, I guess. We do one a week still. We have to figure out if we're going to do the um, Origins episodes both at once or separate. So we'll well see. that might be something maybe the listeners have a yeah, preference. Yeah, like maybe we'll see about that. I think, though, I think, I mean... Ideally, we'd have two discussions, I guess, on them, but we yeah. could also just do a supersized one. Yeah, just a giant discussion. I mean, like, hour, half one on them. That would be, like, most of these are, like, 45 minutes, yeah. All right, so, uh, OverlyAnimated.com. Search for the Overly Animated Podcast on iTunes or your favorite podcatcher or subscribe to our Miraculous Ladybug specific feed. You can find that on OverlyAnimated.com. And subscribe to us on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube. Um, so let's get into Pixelator. Uh that's the name I see on the Wikipedia list. Um, I assume that was the name given when this episode aired um, in Canada. Uh, but digital is the English name that's said on the title screen. So I don't, I mean, I don't, whatever. We can call it either one. Delaney, same thing. Same thing. Delaney, what did you think of this episode? Okay, so at first I was like, I don't really know how I feel about this episode. And then this episode picked up. And this episode's like kind of amazing. <laughs> like, it's like this really weird just it's such a weird episode but it's just wonderful like i don't know why it's just i think the struct the structure's different and then lol like adrian can't stay out of the the camera like gets digitized twice oh, you, yeah that's true i i should have i should have anticipated you loving that <laughs> just... it's so, well it's so funny and then like they like they literally we literally have an episode of the show where they're like trapped in this white space and it's chloe and adrian like this is a wonderful and then marinette gets like loses limbs like this is like a crazy weird episode and it's awesome like i don't know they're just doing some fun things with this and like i just wasn't anticipating a lot of the things that happened on the episode yeah. so i it was pretty solid i think it's an, it's different and i mean you you know the premise sounds kind of stupid but then like you watch it and like oh this is this is okay this works yeah, I I would describe uh, this episode as like uh, a friggin' mess. Like it's, it's crazy. It's, it's kind also, of a... hot is evil. Like holy oh, crap. Yeah. yeah. So there's. I mean, okay. So at first, it seemed like this was gonna be like a typical early episode of the show. It's obviously supposed to air pretty early on, and it wasn't. Um, like the it was the most general beginning hawk moth scene, the akumatizing scene. Um, and like, it happens very fast, but then just weird things keep happening and none of them really make any sense at all, but they're kind of interesting. Uh, I just, I like, I take issue with the logic on almost every single thing that happens <laughs> in this episode, so great. but like, at least it was interesting. <laughs> There's a lot of things I enjoyed to discuss. that it was a mess. Like it just, there's like kind of, I don't really know. It just it was a weird episode. Like I'd prefer that the show is not a mess. I think like <laughs> I hope season yeah. two is not like this. Like I do think there's an element of badness to a lot of the stuff that happens here. But at the same time, it was entertaining. And uh, again, we've t- we've talked about this a lot. Is like we just want differentiators on an, on a show that's uh, the same most of the time. And there's there's a lot of differentiating things. I mean, two, <laughs> this episode's just, different. <laughs> it's it's definitely different. Two notable kind of. Uh, big things here are hawk moth just like fighting the force the, uh, the villain, yeah and like shocking him or force choking who knows and it's just, it just really that. hadn't happened before and then uh someone 
sees Tiki. Like, what? <laughs> that was amazing. And she goes to me, yeah, done. Like, I had to pause it. I was laughing so hard. Yeah, I think that might I, be my favorite scene of the season. It was so <laughs> like, great. It was Tiki just meows. Uh, yeah. It was just the most, I think that is probably one of the most, like, incredible scenes ever. And they just, don't address it. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> like, I do, th- I, I think that scene is just a mess because why Why are you doing this? You shouldn't just throw this in there if you're not addressing it. Like, how does this make any sort of sense? But it's also just great because. <laughs> they just move on. They just move on, yep. I guess they believed that Tiki was a cat, so. Also, okay, can we talk about Tiki is like this eternal, like, all-powerful being and she decides to meow, like. Tiki. That was a good excuse. What? <laughs> she was like, they bought it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think they bought it. Like, oh my god, Tiki. Tiki meowing, yeah. I yeah. mean, kind of crazy. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Someone at one point during the seat when this these these around this time was airing sent me an ask like OMG episode, like it was like twenty or twenty one. I think it was twenty, so it wasn't this one. But yeah. So definitely some notable tiki stuff around this time. Oh my god, it's just these are just pretty special. Just... I mean, between that, the Hawkmoth stuff, between um, just everything with the stupid crocodile, uh, putting people in the pictures, uh, like the logic of the entire ending sequence. Um, we had uh, we had a Korra moment here with uh, Cat Noir's one fan. Um, like, remember this time, like, uh, like in Korra season one, like, hey, Mako, that was like this one Cat Noir fan who like cheers and throws the... <laughs> Blows the spot up. Um, uh, yeah, just a bunch of stuff. I don't even think we got everything. Uh, I mean, just the, the logic of this ending. Like, uh, oh, yeah, with uh, my lucky charm, I have to uh, throw it to Adrian who will bat it in front of him. And then it, like, slow moves. And then it, what? Like, so good. why can't you run and why can't you throw it in front of him? I, oh, my goodness. Okay. I mean, we're going to be fair. She was missing an arm at that point. So we can excuse her a little bit. Nope. Nope. She also couldn't stand because her leg was going through the concrete. Yeah, and she had a leg at that point too. A lot of uh, great marinette shots in this one. Just yeah. super. A lot of uh, n- just purposefully, uh, like very obviously animated, <laughs> interesting marinette facial expressions and stuff like yes. that. Um, okay, let's go through that. There's just I don't think I can even remember everything, but <clears throat> it definitely gets better as it goes along. So, uh, what is it, like, intern day or something? Yeah, like, okay, well, the mayor owns a hotel. Like, like why? Like, I know we, we already knew this, but it's just, like... Oh, so here's... I, I don't know if we've made this comparison before, but um, owns a luxury hotel, is a political, major political, uh, like, a big guy, political mm-hmm. figure, kind of a buffoon. Um, this is Donald mm-hmm. Trump, correct? Yes. <laughs> this mayor, mayor so he's well. less annoying than Donald Trump. Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? He's not like he's not like he's obnoxious. Pretty, all yeah, the he's time. not that obnoxious. Like, he's not as like annoying as Donald Trump. Did, like he's did, not as like. Did, did Miraculous there. Ladybug foresee the Donald Trump presidency by uh, making uh, Mr. Bourgeois? Is that what's going I on mean, here? Maybe. Yeah, I think that's. He does. He does literally own a hotel, so. And he's just taking Chloe's orders for what to. I don't know why he's putting them in assignments on. Uh, in the hotel and why someone else is doing that. But I guess because it's his daughter. And then just Chloe's bossing him around. Alia's on trash duty. Um, she writes down. And then uh, Jagged Stone comes in his crock. And then Chloe has to whisper who he is. So, I mean, the show's not supposed to be aired in a specific order. But then you have things like this, which are obviously anachronistic for other episodes. Yeah. So I just, I, I like. it's not like you can air this episode whenever. If you're going to have an introduction to this character, you need to have him earlier. Yeah, like what, what even... Uh yeah, um, he's he needs a bathtub for Fang his crocodile. He's my crocodile. He's I did I don't know if I realized before that Fang just acted like a dog. That's definitely emphasized in this in this episode. Um, yes. you can't give a croc a bubble bath. It completely dries up their scales. I don't know if that's scientifically accurate. I, think, I mean, who would ever know? <laughs> who would ever know? I mean, I don't know. You're right. Who? I, I It's probably Googleable information though. Yeah. No, nope, I don't think so. I'm going to Google it and okay. I'll get back to you guys. Okay. Vincent uh, Asa, super fan. Um, we had the intro, the akumatizing Hawkmot scene. Like I said, there's nothing specific about that. It could have just been reused from another episode. Um, he becomes digital. Um, Marinette gets assigned to be a hunter for Jagged. And I think there's some French pun stuff going on. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's like it, the words like 
Because we can't say it. I don't speak French. Because it's we like, had a thing in the top left corner. Uh, tra- yeah, I was like, no, I paused it to read it. I was like, ooh, what's this? We, we, we can make fun of translator notes here. Um, if this was anime, they would have said the word and then had a translator note and saying that word means this instead of actually putting the meaning of the word. But they didn't do that. They actually just put the meaning of the word. Um, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. He's She's getting stuff for, for the rock star. It's a, that's a thing. Uh, Tiki. So Tiki, this episode is just absurd, and like, this definitely feels like an early version of Tiki that they kind of haven't ha- hammered out her person. I mean, not that Tiki has personality, but she's just like very involved and uh, this very super moral figure for Marinette, which she is sometimes, but she's never just like f- floating around as Marinette's sidekick all the time, like this episode. Yeah, like, she's like they're yeah. acting like Biffles, and I'm like Tiki, you need to get back in the purse and calm down. She's just there, they just floating beside her, like when she's running errands and. Paris. and i like that they they get i like that she gets caught for it because yeah it's hilarious um she's chastising marinette for not getting the right stupid glasses for for jagged it's better it's i think it's better to do things right from the beginning she says what does that even mean tiki like Tiki's... she looks trying to find the glasses like calm down you know what that sounds like that sounds like a blossom quote from the new powerpuff girls literally that's is blossom tiki quote. blossom i mean probably <laughs> They're both kind of tiny floating things. I mean, it's <laughs> they're both I pink as shred or whatever, right? Not like long. they're kind of the same. Is Tiki secretly blossom? Is that what's happening? Does Tiki like to clean things? Like probably. I don't know. Uh, Can Tiki clean things? Should we go through the characters on this show and say which Powerpuff Girl they are? Yes. No, we shouldn't do that. Oh, you got to think of who Marinette is, but I don't think she's any of them. Well, she's I mean, too... if Marinette's any of them, she's like, I, no. She's no. too complex, yeah. She's too complex. I mean, she'd be Bubbles just because Bubbles is the best and Marinette's the best. But, like, that's the, the only comparison. Yeah. yeah. Uh, see, they, yeah, the, the, the seeing Tiki scene, like, uh, yeah, just. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. incredible. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, with the question. Like, it's so good. I. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We could probably talk about that for a while. We could just it's analyze amazing. the mechanics of this thing. Yeah, I don't know yeah. how they just don't address it again. Like, you got caught, Tiki. Like, what? What even are you, Tiki? Like, how would they even explain what you are? Like, there's no, there's no schema of of Tiki. She's yeah, she's like, not. You're, yeah, you're just floating in midair, and you're like meow. Like, come on. Like, what? Uh, Marinette's the wrong glasses, and I have to spend even more time away from Adrian. That's the other thing about this episode that was very like early season one. He was um, just Marinette constantly talking about Adrian, and yeah, she, she does that. Like, all, she does do that later, but it's like the be- the beginning of the show is just all the time, and this episode is kind of all the time too. Yeah, and it's also kind of like in this episode, it's just like kind of annoying because it's like you just do your job, Marinette. Just that also, Chloe annoying. literally cannot get her hands off Adrian. I just feel so bad for Adrian. Like, Adrian's just like putting the... up with it, like just standing. Give the boy some personal space. I don't. Just, I, I feel like that's an un- un- unrealistic interaction. Adrian just like being like, he's nice. Like, like he's not. I mean, he's Adrian's nice, but the thing is, like, I feel like at some point he's just gonna like tell her off, like, which he's done that before. Like he's told her off yeah. before, but it's like. I mean, he's you like, know, it's not worth it, which I I, I, I feel, but it's, yeah. it's a lot in this, in this one. Or Adrian. Uh, Chloe and Adrian digitized, uh, and then she they go into, uh, oh yeah, they, they see, we see people. Yeah, so I thought the camera was just like killing people at first, and then no, they're inside, <laughs> they're inside this thing. Because the first people that get uh, digitized, they don't like show them in the picture. Right. First of all, this, this the whole concept makes no sense, obviously, but um yeah. why are we conflating cameras with like pixels and um just like on a thematic level it's like we're combining computers and like cameras yeah which is like a thing i guess this is supposed it's to be a like, digital, digital camera, camera <laughs> which is a thing but <laughs> i don't i don't when i think of digital cameras i don't think of pixels i don't yeah. know well i mean it kind of makes sense in that like when we get the end result where they're like in little tablets like on his wall I thought they were in just picture frames that, um, it, I don't know. It was weird. Well, tablets the thing is, would like, make more sense. I think there was because like, they could like talk through them. To me, they looked like tablets. They well, okay, look, like, it doesn't make okay. <laughs> it doesn't make sense either way. So it's not like explaining yeah, the logic of it. It's gonna make yeah. it tablets, but yeah. Um, Adrian uh, just screaming for her dad, and when she gets in the thing, Papa. I, I, so I thought good. it was kind of funny, actually. I enjoyed it a yeah. lot. Um, 
Marinette making the glasses, which seems again, we just very sporadically I right, get Marinette Marinette makes things, I guess. She like makes hats, right? Remember from that one episode <laughs> that's yep. never been addressed again, basically. I feel like this is the th- I enjoy it. I feel like this is the third time the show has ever addressed her making things. I feel like it's only happened three times. Yeah, it doesn't happen a lot, but I mean I'm fine. Like I accept like I think it's like well, she made the dolls, episode, true, but we didn't. Yeah. We didn't mention that she made the dolls. Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, like, when they're like, you know, we have the one episode she makes the hat. It's like, I mean, it's fine. She's she knows how to make things. I'm not really that bothered by it. I feel like it should be like, a bigger deal. I don't know. I feel like, well, it should be a bigger deal, and I'm like, sure it's well, like it's a huge deal in fan fiction. I just we want more of it in the show. I mean, that's like I don't care about her crushing on Adrian. I want to see more of her being cool. Yeah, no, like Come make on. me like yeah. clothes, Marinette. Like, what else can you make? Impress me. <laughs> I don't mean personally. I just mean characterization wise. Well, no, yeah, no. It's like more interesting. Yeah, well, maybe we'll get it in like the origin or something. Who knows? Yeah, maybe she'll. I don't know. Maybe we'll see the origin of her. I don't even. Also, know what... they like they keep. I mean, I know there's like translation things, but like they keep saying middle school. Yeah. So middle school again. I mean, so, it's the same person. Granted, I mean, it's the same person. We had that discussion so. about what middle school is. So. Yeah, yeah. We, the, we've, I think we've arrived on um, f- 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 sixth to ninth, or fit, or seventh to ninth. So yeah. she could be, like she could be fourteen, fifteen, and still be in the last yeah. year of middle school. Um, where, where are we? So yeah, Tiki just still floating around everywhere. Um, jagged jagged brooming fang oh yeah <laughs> in the bathtub like yes. <laughs> like washing him with like just this broom or something uh transform uh the guy comes in the fang's room he's like fang attack in fang's room uh jagged's room but it's also a fang's room because he's more important oh my god it was getting intense when like she like walked away and he came up to the door and i was like i swear to god marinette if you don't turn around i'm gonna scream but then she did notice. Thank God, I was getting real frustrated. Yeah, she. I, I thought she was just gonna walk away. Yeah, I was get ticked. I was like, I'm not. I will not stand for this. No, I was fine with. I was fine with Jagged being <laughs> fixed I wasn't worried about that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I don't dislike him, but you know, but Fang's the was- Fang's the one I'm really concerned with. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, it wasn't even that. Like, I cared that like who was getting. I was just like, Marinette, turn around. Oh my God. Just. Yeah, it was a weird, weirdly kind of shot scene. Um, Ladybug goes to Samarina as Ladybug goes to save uh, Jagged. She's like hopping around everywhere, <laughs> just like <laughs> bouncing off the walls. Yep. Um, p- gets a pixelized arm. Uh, and oh, yes. Yeah, and she like, there's this like weird close up of her face when she like li- yo yo's a vase or something. We'll get to that in the screenshot selection, but it's really weird. <laughs> And uh, then we have Hawk Moth like shocking uh, Pixelator to like comply with Lady, but with yeah, uh, him going like, after Leo. He's like, we've had this conflict before where it's the we've had the the villain wants to do one thing and then Hawk Moth wants them to go after Ladybug and Cat, but never to the point where the villain was like insubordinate. Right. So do we think that this is kind of just a function of this being an early episode and them kind of finding the logic of the show? Or is this like a thing that could happen? Is Hawk Moth just like not really just not in control of the villains? No, I think this is something, I think this is, like, something we'll probably see more of, is that that he really, and we've talked about it before, like, to what extent does he control them? Yeah, so. I think it, I think this fits with what we've seen. Like, he's, he has to, like, talk to them to get them to do things. He's not right. just, he's not literally controlling them, so. And, but it makes sense that he can cause them harm, though, so. Uh, does that make sense? Why does that make sense? Well, I mean, depend like, his control of the Akumas and stuff, like, it would So you think it's, like, like, the Akuma shocking it? Like, the butterfly is, like... <laughs> yeah, like, he's, he, like, he can control it. So, or he's, he clearly has influence over them. I thought it was, I thought that was new information. Like, to me, that didn't fit with my schema of, um, of Hawk Moth's abilities, of being able to, like, shock the villains. Well, uh-huh. I had wondered, I had wondered if he could hurt them. I figured he actually had more control over them, that he could, they could, like, act, they were kind of like puppets. Like, if he needed to, he could really take one over. That's, uh, but, yeah. The show is definitely not presented that. It's possible. Right. Yeah, Yeah. I just meant it was a possibility. But yeah. this, like, I think it makes sense that he can hurt them. I mean, he, he gets he's literally in their head, so it would make sense that he can, like, hurt them. From, like, a thematic standpoint? Yeah. No, I don't know. I think, I, do, I think it's a little bit different, but... Also, it wouldn't really be an effective power if he just made villains and he couldn't really, like, do things. I mean, no, no. The thing is, no villains like really just not cared what he's saying before. That's the thing. Right. So I think this well, is. I mean, I, he clearly has a lot of influence, 
So I wonder if I don't know. I don't necessarily think he's just relying on like I gave you these powers. Now you owe to me. I think he. I think he really has a real strong influence over like. And the thing is, like, they don't remember it when they wake up. So I do think I think it's probably a form of mind control. You, so you think him talking to them is suppo- is like uh, just the way they're presenting, like a mind control type thing. Yeah, the way and, they're and he might clearly doesn't have like a hundred percent control because otherwise he wouldn't need to like shock them. He would just take them over. But I do think it's a form. Like he has he he has, and I say my, mind control implies like a lot of control. I think it's like a lot of influence, like kind of Kilgrave ish from Jessica Jones, but more like. Like it's not as powerful. Like it's like more suggestion. I think that I'm not willing to change my perception of Bakhmoth over one episode. Like especially if this is one of the earlier well, ones. I just thought for a long time to me this is. More yeah, I mean, like I'm fine with it speculating. I just I don't think that we should like draw like factual conclusions mm-hmm. from this well, until we see it a second time. Is my the opinion. Fact, the fact that he can hurt people though is that like that we should file this way that he can hurt people while yeah, he's it is. Them. It is. You have to like. Yeah, I mean, he's. It's possible that he can do that. It seems like that's canon, but it's also possible he just never does that again, like in the show. And that was them trying something, and they didn't like that they did that or something. I don't know. So I don't know. Let us know what you think of of this. Maybe we'll talk about it again. Um, in this podcast, I mean, <laughs> we'll, we we still have uh, plenty of interesting things to to get to though. Uh, the ladybug stashes jagged like a with the light catch up and she mentions um his his cool glasses uh kind of giving away her spot but is not called out for it Jeez, marinette yeah i i feel like i feel like that's the type of thing where she's gonna get her identity fee revealed to adrian it's just gonna be like that i mean there's this is it's okay. gonna be something really stupid. i can't bring that up without <laughs> without just uh, just moving on that's like the fandom's number one topic i think <laughs> It's yes. like, how's this going to happen? But yeah, that, that, if, if I feel well, it's like... the only topic that really matters because it's just like so frustrating. Yeah, I feel like we've precedent now for Marinette just slipping. So yep. uh, Marinette uh, tries to type on her yo-yo, which is absurd. But uh, then her hand goes through it. So, so it's that was like... hilarious. Like that entire like she does it with her chin. It's and adorable. she's like typing with her like, face. Yeah. So she's so cute. It's unreal. Like I, don't, I, I was I was kind of caught up on the fact that the yo-yo can like Google things now. Okay, yeah, okay, my thing is, like, we've seen it before where she's, like, communicated with Kat through it, so, like, this isn't, like, she has, like, and then my thing, oh, like, so does the yo-yo just come with being Ladybug? It wasn't, like, yeah, I, I mean, probably. It wasn't even displaying so, Wikipedia, though. It was, like, it's, like, it's, like, its own Pokedex. Like, it knows, and right? so then my thing is, like, so, like, back in, like, Egyptian times, did the yo could the yo-yo Google things when, yeah. like, there was, like, I need to know how this works. I think I think it's supposed to be like its own closed circuit type thing. Like I don't think that she was accessing the internet. I think she was. Well, access- it kind of makes. I mean, if Yo-Yo's all powerful. Like we kind of get that. Like it's fine, but like I need I need more. I need to know more about the Yo-Yo. My impression is that she can talk to Adrian through like a closed circuit video chat, and that she can access a, a database that only she can see. So, like, I don't think that she's like on the on Wikipedia. Oh yeah, no, I don't think she's on the internet. But the thing is, like, what else can the Yo Yo do? If it can do, yeah, if it can do this stuff, could it do like future can stuff? It do, like, yeah, <laughs> and also, and also, like, my thing is, like, you know, let's say for example that we have kind of like an almost a CSI like episode. Like, can it do like hair analysis? Can it like that'd be like. <laughs> It's literally, this is kind yeah, of like probably. a totally spies gadget. Like, yeah, it like, is. This is. It is. Like this is literally like the compact and totally spies. Which like, what uh, else can it do? which totally spy is Marinette? Oh, that's really hard. We we'll have to come back to that. Like I don't. We'll have to reevaluate. I think she's Sam. I think that's not a hard question. I think she's Sam. I don't know. <laughs> I have to think more about it. <laughs> well, I, what? She's not Clover. Well, no, she's not Clover. Maybe she's Alex. But... She could be. She's a little See, Alex. She could, yeah. See, that's the thing. We have to like. We have to discuss. <laughs> like, I know it's not easy to pick what totally spies she is. Chloe's definitely yeah. uh, Clover. Oh, lol. Yeah, Chloe's like annoying Clover. Yes, which, which is what some Clover's people great. think is normal Clover, but I'm I'm a big Clover fan. Yeah, Clover's okay. Great. Um, great. Yeah, we we should keep talking about totally spies, probably. Yeah, obviously. But we have another scene of the villain just. Uh, just like killing random people, basically. We had this last yep. week too, and we have it again. Yep. Just him was pixelating random people. Marinette goes to Vincent's house and sees just the photos on his wall. Um, Chloe says, "Remember me? I'm your biggest fan." To Ladybug, which I which I thought was notable. Did go to his house? Do we know why? She went to his house. Like why? 
Um, yeah, no, there was not really a reason. I, th- this was a logical jump. She just Googled, she Googled this, his, his dress. Like, why we, we've never gone to any of the other villains' houses. Like, why? So, M- Chloe saying, I, remember me, I'm your biggest fan, I think places this episode on the timeline. I don't remember what the first Chloe Ladybug episode was, though, but it's after this. It's after that one. Yeah. Mm, I mean, I don't feel like, yeah, but anyway. We'll, we'll create the true timeline. Yeah, this is like a Legend of Zelda thing. We'll have to map out yeah. the true timeline world. Oh, God, no, yeah. I just got introduced to the craziness that is Legend of Zelda timeline, and please, we're not going to talk about it. It gives, <laughs> gives me a headache. Are you sure we don't want to talk about that? Oh my god, no, I had to Google it. Which form of friends. which form of Zelda is is Marinette? Oh, is I she uh, is she Wind Waker Zelda? Is she yeah, she, that's the reason we were looking into it. My friends are playing Wind Waker and I was like, this is giving me a headache. Um yeah, I keep losing my place because we keep going on uh, great tangents here. But yes. uh, uh oh yeah, the, they they have like a news crew covering the villain thing and uh, then the, like, <laughs> First of all, it's interview- you're just stupid. Like, why are you going to interview the guy that's killing people? And then it's um, like, literally at the bottom of the screen, a new villain. <laughs> it's like, okay, this is a common news coverage, I guess. In this Paris. is hilarious. Like, why? Uh, Jagged Stone decides he's going to Deathly Hallows this. Uh, <laughs> yes. Which that was my first. This is the, <laughs> that, that's how I classify this plot line now. Is what, just he's going to hurry and Deathly Hallows it. Um, I feel like, yeah, Jagged definitely coming off great here. Saving the day. Yep. I can't refuse a TV appearance, he says. <laughs> okay. That'd be great. Everyone cheering on Ladybug when she gets there. Uh, gonna take a photo. Oh, yeah. And then she just, like, I don't know what, she's, like, trying to avoid him, and then she, like, falls and is, like, he's not that powerful. He can just shoot a beam yeah. out of his thing. Why is she so easily defeated? She doesn't, yeah, she normally doesn't get hit either, so, like, I don't, like... I feel like this guy wasn't one of our more powerful villains, and he just no. she just gets cornered. And um, also, it kind of does it make sense that like she gets hit kind of and lose. Like, do they have to be like so? Yeah, well, no, I that guess makes no the- sense. Yeah, why was she not just fully brought into the picture? Granted, yeah. we looked at it at the, like I mean, at the end, he was like open. His, like, I don't know if like did they have to be look? Did they have to be looking at the camera because there's a you know, like he does this, like smile and he does it. So I wonder if like they have to be looking at the camera. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't. Weird. That's not the impression I got, but yeah, that's possible. Um, yeah, just uh, that that sequence I feel like didn't make sense. But I also I love J- it's jagged who saves her and not not cat. <laughs> like that was great. Um, did got a uh, yeah they have like a deal for oh wait yeah yeah wait does jagged save or does she say I have a deal for you no eventually well, she Jack like comes yeah he makes the deal she makes the deal first okay. and releases and cat shows up. And then Jagged Stone. Yeah, and she's like, she's like, I have a deal for you. And then uh, Cat gets digitized like literally thirty seconds after he reappears. Yeah, and then um, and uh, Hawk Mutt's like, I know she's trying to trick you. Why doesn't he just like make it, make him do it, make him not take the yeah, deal? Like, if if Hawk Mutt had true control, it could like truly make right. him do anything. He would have just made him him uh, pixelize her at that moment. Yeah, so. I don't think I think it's more suggestion. Like he has influence. Yeah. Which is why he has to resort to like violence when they don't cooperate. I guess so. Yeah, he is he frees half of the people. Um, the croc is back. That was my most notable person who who came back was the crocodile. Uh, yeah, not, not not Adrian. Uh, we talked about how <laughs> Adrian's literal one fan cheers for him. <laughs> it's so um, good. Uh, Marinette says, "Just in time, my kitty." What do you think of that? I mean. That's pretty notable. The first, her it first is response notable. isn't to be sassy; it's to like say yeah. that. That's pretty notable. It's pretty, um, pretty notable. <laughs> I don't know what to comment on it beyond that, but it was kind of adorable. But uh, Marinette, yeah, I feel like I feel like I I support Marinette calling um calling Cat Noir Kitty because it's super like Agreed. degrading to to him. I'm, so I'm in favor of that. Uh, yes. Lost, he says, you she lost her touch. Oh, <laughs> Grown. Uh, I told you she was gonna betray you," said Hawk Moth. Um, cat, yeah, cat, told you, like, hey. <laughs> told you, cat. Just literally, yeah, gets digitized again right away. Marinette's leg digitized. Um, Jagged shows up. Yeah, yeah. Here, okay. So I was, I had stuff out of order, but now it's Jagged. Jagged's yeah, like, wait, I have to get the perfect photo, and it's like stalling him that way. It's pretty great. Yeah, it's pretty good. I liked it a lot. And then, uh, oh, and then Marinette's like. Now it's time for Lucky Charm. Like, okay, Marinette, why did you wait until now 
literally every time, every time, it's like you literally could have done like a charm like fifteen but minutes this, ago. This episode, this episode show would only be ten minutes. This episode, especially though, because she's never been like cornered like this before. Why are you not she lucky charming is then? Missing limbs. Why are you lucky charming only once Jagged shows up? Oh my goodness! Oh my yeah, uh, compact, uh, and then right after cat- cataclysms and can break out of the pictures, which makes no sense. No, no, it's not. No, that makes them. I, I, I object. I uh, object as well. Uh, and then Marinette has to throw the thing to Cat, and he hits it into the perfect timing into the beam and reflects Open back at him. Too. Yeah. So well, it's like one. Why? And I, so I understand that Marinette was behind him, but Marinette just could move two feet, then throw it herself, and not have to bat it to Cat. Um, and getting the perfect angle on this. It's all, this. I, I very much object to the logic of this ending. This is the most ridiculous. Yeah. I've, this, this, this is the one that seemed the most ridiculous to me also. I'm beginning to wonder if, like, because Marinette always does, like, like, Lucky Charm, like, when the villain's distracted. I wonder if she can be interrupted in the yeah. middle of Lucky Charm. Yeah, no, I did think about that, yeah. I, I, I think she, which like, would make so sense. You're hitting cast spell, and you're like, please don't hit me, please don't hit me, before, yeah. like, the bar finishes. I wonder if that's, like, that's Marinette. I mean, like, it's please. just to get through the 15 seconds of reused animation, yeah. so you can't interrupt that. Yeah. It's, I do think it, we're pausing time, though. I, I don't yeah. think that's actually happening. Right. I don't, I don't think that the people can, like, see the <laughs> the background go through. But I, do want, but I do wonder if she can, like, like, it might take time to do Lucky Charm, and I wonder if she could be interrupted. I mean, I I think that goes along with something we know, which is that she has to like figure out what to do with Lucky Charm. So it probably isn't immediately helpful. It needs, right. Like, and also, like, well, literally the magic of Lucky Charm too. Like it, like, like what if she's in the middle of doing it and like the yo-yo gets like snapped out of her hand or something, or she gets hit? Would the person who like takes it as she's in the process of Lucky Charm and get to be the one that uh, accesses the spell? Then I don't know. Well, we Maybe. see Cat Noir Lucky Charm. Ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like mm. that either. <laughs> What do you think of Marinette cataclysming? That doesn't make any sense. No, that'd be cool. But it's it, a cat it thing. Make... It's an ad ability. She's a lady. Yeah, but... like I just ability. don't. Also, their abilities are like I don't even. I would like to see. I just thought of this. I'd like to see new uh, spe- new spells. I'd like to see them level up for season two. Yes, like, level up. Yes, yeah, like power spells. Spells. You can level up. Yeah, and they get uh, they get new powers. Yeah. Definitely am pretty sick of, of Lucky Charm. We have I'm getting, it's complaints. pretty annoying. And Cataclysm has never been interesting, so. No. This like, was like, this was its most, uh, it? like, this Cataclysm is never useful. How is it suddenly just able to solve everything and break out of a villain thing? Like, yeah. Cataclysm is just like this, I mean, in comparison to Lucky Charm, anything's kind of useless, though, because Lucky Charm literally just fixes just everything. Fix, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, she also has Miraculous Ladybug, which literally fixes everything. And I like I like how she Miraculous Ladybugs, and then it just stays on her. And, like, <laughs> the camera, like, stays on her, and it just fixes her, her arm and leg. And she's like, yay! Pretty good. <laughs> That's never happened before, yeah, where we just don't... It, it's, like, affects Marinette in addition to everyone else. Um, Pound it, great job. Pound it's still better. And yeah. then uh, Marinette, Alia, Adrian, and Nino get to go to the Jagged Stone concert. And Chloe's kicked. Yeah, if his dad's choosing, I don't know why Chloe doesn't get well, to go. Like, also, Chloe can like buy a ticket. Yeah, true. Like, maybe it's sold out. Yeah, maybe that would make that would, like, be, that would make sense. Is Jagged Stone the Hamilton of this universe? Maybe. Uh, Jagged Stone to me looks like uh, has always looked like Russell Brand. I mean, I think that's who. I think that's the point. But like, Russell Brand's like not a rock star. I don't even so just. That's the right name, right? Well, he just kind of looks like a Ruckster supposed to look, I guess. I don't know. Like, he's just this, like... Which, it's funny, though, because, like, he looks like an 80s, like, punk star. <laughs> like... Yeah, but I feel like he's like, suspiciously looks like Russell Brand. Yeah, I know he does. Yeah. <laughs> suspiciously looks like Russell Brand. I mean, I'd buy it. I don't... Suspiciously looks like... Have we seen? Have we had Jagged on the the English dub? Is is are we sure that Russell Brand isn't voicing him in that? Yeah, we don't. Well, I mean, he's been on the dub, but oh, I, I don't. Okay. No, he's an not. Opinion on it. He's I don't, not. I don't um, think he's really voicing. And then he's like, "I have a song just for Ladybug," and Marinette freaks out. And then it's just he's just like playing the theme song on the piano, which is super underwhelming. <laughs> super under- agree. I mean, it was really funny though, like the animation in the back. Like, what is this? Yeah, and then he has like pictures of Ladybug flashing in the background. It was yeah, kind of great. Like he was amazing. How did you, how did you give your like uh, your your got your crew enough time to set that up? <laughs> Jagged, come on. So good. I enjoyed it. 
Like it was so ridiculous. I loved it. It was it was pretty ridiculous. Marinette also freaking out with being there with Adrian, but also like freaked out more at <laughs> getting a song written about her. Also, Adrian's like, I've never been like my first concert. I'm like, boy, do you go outside? Like, do you? Like, Did he say that? Yeah, I've been to a concert ignore- before. I was just ignoring him. That makes sense, I guess, with his character. <laughs> You're just ignoring him. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I feel like Adrian like looks you know, over. Casually ignore like one of the main characters. I feel like Adrian just looks over at. Uh, I'm joking, by the way. If listeners don't <laughs> fan girl, I'm joking. Um, I, I feel like Adrian looks over at. Um, cat noir guy. At, like, no, that's, that's... no, at uh, no, uh, yeah, the cat noir. I feel like Adrian looks over at uh, Marinette just freaking out at the ladybug song. He's like, hmm, what's going on here? I mean, is Marinette just supposed to be like the biggest I, Ladybug fan yeah, girl? I was at the Ladybug song though, so like, but like she has this face. Like, I mean, <laughs> you don't. I, do I not have this face? Do you not? You don't know. Well, I'll give you the screenshots. Let's talk about the screenshots, <laughs> and then I can see if you have this face. <laughs> a few Marinette faces here <laughs> that are pretty notable. Marinette faces. Let me know. Is there you, a ship one? To- let me know when you have them loaded. I don't think there's no real ship one. I don't think in this episode. Not a very shippy episode. This one's so. taking forever. Okay. So the first one is uh, <laughs> just the shut. Those are the woman and the child seeing Tiki, which was just so <laughs> absurd. It's so good. They're like, "What the heck is that? Why are they okay? Let's look at the shot. Why are they freaking out? At uh, couldn't Tiki just be stuffed? Like Tiki's just sticking out of Marinette's purse. Like this could just be like a, uh, a plush. But they could have seen her talking to it. I guess like. that's what they saw. Because otherwise, I don't think that makes sense. <laughs> She's talking to like. Talking to your plush doll, but that's also normal. I don't get it. Like, I feel like. Oh, no. But then in this, oh, okay. Tiki's not floating when she says meow. She's just speaking out of Marinette's first because the second shot is Tiki being like, eh, like smiling, like like that. Meow. Yeah, and uh, oh. meow. Yeah. Uh, the third, this third shot is the um, crazy Marinette close up. <laughs> this is the best one I get. There, there's just, just it was like purposely animated like this. To show her face really weirdly when she's yo-yoing the vase. Number four is this this very this very nice. Number number four is this very polished shot, which they leave on the screen for like five seconds, just asking to be making the screenshot for the episode of Marinette. I don't even remember when this is. And then the fifth one is Marinette at the concert. I mean, the fifth one is pretty adorable. I mean, four is the the obvious choice. Yes, four is the obvious choice. I do love just meow. <laughs> I didn't put meow on it, but we could put the meow subtitle on it. Too. Meow. <laughs> Tiki, like, what even? What are you, Tiki? I don't. Tiki's the biggest mystery. <laughs> just, what are you? Oh, man. But it was really funny. They freak out. Like, all of these are quality. Why don't yeah, they four, address four that again? The... Yeah, I mean, I think we're both four, but yeah, some pretty. <laughs> Those three would be pretty incredible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so rich. Ridiculous. ridiculous episode do you think where what do you think top tier second tier lower tier episode of ladybug i would say i i, I mean i i think quality wise it's not it's probably like you know normal middle-ish you know good yeah. but for my, in my enjoyment level top tier <laughs> like cause i love this episode yeah like, i understand that it's not but i thoroughly enjoyed it yeah, quality wise, I think this is like one of the worst episodes. But in- entertainment wise, it was like middle tier for me, <laughs> like solid. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. So there you go. Let us know what you thought about any of our discussions on Picks Later. You ask for the screenshots if you want to see crazy marionette faces. You you guys want to see crazy marionette faces? It's, it's post uh, post links to your uh, Tiki as a cat fanfics or something like that. <laughs> like uh, human human cat? No, like real world cat Tiki and marionette. I feel, I feel like, like Sabrina's just... teenage witch, miraculously. Yeah. Oh yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. I feel like I feel like there should be like real world, uh, like um, realistic Marinette uh, drawings, and then Tiki's just like a cat in those, just like her cat. I Tbh, that... I'm afraid to read Ladybug fan fiction. Like I haven't done it yet, and I'm afraid to. Well, and we, should ca- we should catch up first. So <laughs> let's not yeah. Do that yet. yeah. But I'm like, but I'm afraid in general. Yeah, I think that's fair. Because they're uh, like twelve. Well, yeah, and the fandom's pretty young, and it's a lot of stuff is very straight and stuff, you know. Just as a long lot of as it's, problems. as long as we don't have any Kai things going on, I think I'll be okay. Uh, I you definitely to... do have Kai things going on with Adrian. Uh, I know, one hundred percent, way more than we ever had with Kai and Cora. Like, oh, I'm still traumatized from Kai. I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, oh man, let's chill, let's chill, Adrian Van Rose. But yeah, um. And like, actually, it's kind of like everyone. 
Kind yeah. of everyone in this fandom of both Adrian. Anyway, uh, I'm Dylan Nice. That's Lenny Stovall. Overlyanimated.com. Um, you can uh, support us at patreon.com slash overly animated. Uh, thank you to our patrons uh, for sponsoring this ad, ad free podcast. Uh, thank you to Shayna, Mitch Cordell, Beatrice Nate, and Deanna yeah, Napolis. Um, I did this last time too. Uh, <laughs> Jamie, Rachel, John Ryan, and Catherine, aka Hey Nephew, Merch Gunner, CB, Nathan Fillion, Buzz Lake here, Mailman, Rachel Rose, Johnny, Grab O'Brien, Cookie Cat. I know I really want like a just a real life marionette fanfic her cat's tiki um yes. she has like ladybug wall print paper and it's like how normal can we get marionette's life while still keeping the qualities of marionette those yeah. are my that's my i feel like it might you could just do it with a fan art actually you know yeah probably yeah. Uh, if that exists like, like, marionette like, aesthetic yeah marionette aesthetic real world person yeah Link me to that if that exists. Anyway, next week we'll be discussing Guitar Villain back in in order, kind of. We'll see if it makes more sense. And then after that, we're getting into I think I think the last um, one, two, three, four, five. After that, are like plot all plot heavy, maybe. So we'll see. Uh, I don't think plot heavy really means really really plot heavy though. But it's more just like anything relevant to to the overall plot of the show. The last origin episode. Do the origins last, yeah. As, as people have said, keep the order, do fragrance, Simon says, Volpina, origin, origin. Yeah, we'll do that. So, I'm, yeah. Uh, comments, YouTube. Um, uh, comments on overlyanimated.com on the episode article or Tumblr asks, subscribe on YouTube if you listen there. Thank you for people who watch on YouTube and comment, and I'll comment back uh, wherever you're commenting on this. And thank you guys again for listening to our Ladybug podcast. Woohoo! Um, we're still going to keep, we'll be busy with, uh, Steven Universe and back new next week, but we're still going to keep doing Ladybug Weekly, hopefully. So, because we love Ladybug. I mean, so, <laughs> we could have a long discussion about status of quality of the show, but we're certainly yeah. invested, emotionally invested in the show, right? So, all right. Thanks, listen, guys. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.